In this type of question, we're trying to derive an algebraic equation from a given pattern. So the easiest thing to do is to start with a t table um, with n and t, n being the term number and t being the value. So I'm going to start with the first three. So term one, term two, th term three. My value is three, five, and seven. So we want to figure out first what each value is going up by. We can see this is going up by 2, and this one's going up by 2. So right away that tells me in my equation I'm going to have 2n. I'm going to start it with t equals, because we're going to use our equation to find what the value is. So we have 2n. If I use that information to plug in the first term, I would get 2 times 1 using this value, that equals 3, so, oh sorry, that equals 2, so I know I'd have to add one more to get to our answer 3. I'm going to try adding that to our equation. I'm going to try it for the next term just to see if it works. t equals 2 times 2 plus 1, which gives me 4, plus 1, which gives me 5 which is my answer there. So that confirms that my equation is t equals 2n plus 1. Now that I have my equation, I can figure out what the 10th and 20th terms are. The key thing about finding an equation is that so we don't have to add up to the 10th or 20th terms. What if they'd asked for the 400th term? We're obviously not going to calculate up, you know, individually by each term. So we can use our algebraic expression. You can see t equals 2. It's going to be the 10th term, which goes in for n, plus 1, which equals 20, plus 1 equals 21. So the tenth term, t10, is 21. And for the twentieth term, I do the exact same thing. So 2 times 20 plus 1 gives me 40 plus 1. So the twentieth term is 41. And that's the answer to our question. In these types of questions, we're given an algebraic pattern and we want to find an equation so that we can calculate any term in the pattern. So I'm going to start making a t-table. I'm going to do the f 1, 2, 3, 4 for my terms and I'm going to put the values in. So the first term is 48, next one's 46, next one's 44, and the next one's 42. And this is all just given to me in the equation. The first thing we want to notice is what the uh, pattern is going up or down by. In this case, it's going down by 2 each time, so it's negative 2. So I'm going to start with that. So t equals negative 2n is going to be involved. I know the tricky thing about these ones is they're descending. So we're actually starting with a value, and then we're going to take away 2 times n each time. So just like before, we want to figure out what we're going to have to start with in order to make this true. So if I were to do it for the first term, I would get t equals minus 2 times 1, which gives me negative 2. So I'd have to add 50 to get to our answer of 48. If I tried for the next one, close negative 2, and I put the second term in, that would give me negative 4. Again, I'd have to add 50 to get to the answer of 46. So that helps me with my equation. It's going to be t equals minus 2n plus 50. And that tells me my full equation. Now that we have our algebraic ex equation to show what our, our pattern is, we can figure out the 10th and the 20th terms as asked. So I'll start with t equals minus 2. n is the number from the pattern that we're looking for. So 10 in this case plus 50. So equals negative 2 times 10 is negative 20 plus 50 equals 30. So the 10th term is 30. And if I do the exact same thing for the 20th term, I get negative 2 times 20 plus 50. So negative 40 plus 50 equals 10. So you can see the further down the pattern we go, the smaller the number of 10 and 30. And that's the end of the 
end of the question. I hope that this was clear. And if you have any other questions, check out our YouTube channel. Thanks.